Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So we have been working on getting this parts bike tore down so that we can get everything off and start working on the new bike. Um, I think today's goal is to get the motor out. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I've, did, I've done some off camera work, um, just some little stuff so that we can like kind of move fast along Same today. Time. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the, the majority of the harness off of it get the throttle cables, clutch cable, any other wires and stuff that's still connected to the uh, frame. And then we'll go ahead and tear down all the motor mounts and slap a back wheel back on it so that we can get it off the lift and then try to, uh, we might have to pull the, the forks off this time before we pull out the motor. I think it'll make it easier. But we'll do that and then try to get the motor out of it. Hopefully we have enough time today. We're gonna go ahead and get started on it and, uh, and knock it out. Do you think um, maybe next video we'll be working on Christine? Oh yeah, definitely. Yep. definitely. That's the yep. goal. Basically, there was just a bunch of clips and screws that hold on this stuff. It's just the oil sending unit and the connector to the uh, crank sensor that plugs in behind the voltage regulator and the, uh, the neutral indicator thingy. Now we can get this whole brake assembly off. I tried to leave as much of it together as I can so that I don't have to try to remember how it goes when we put it back together. We can go ahead and pull off this bar, whatever the heck that thing's called. our speed sensor wire in here so I don't damage it. And then I'll go ahead and pull out one of these motor mount bolts and then just leave the other one in there just, just barely in there so we can slide it out once we get the bike off the lift. Uh oh, we need to go ahead and get these throttle cables loose. Forgot about that. Save our little gold doohickeys. You never have too many of them. Cables are off. Let's go ahead and while it's on the lift, I'm gonna tear up all the front end stuff on here so that when I go to pull the forks out and everything, it'll be easier to get to. So I'm not like wrestling around with this on the ground.
So I guess the headlight has to come off first before all this other stuff. So right now I'm having to get all this harness is all one piece with this and I don't want to cut anything right now and I'm not seeing any connectors to unplug it so I'm having to take it apart a little further than I thought I was going to have to but we're just doing it to keep moving along. I'm not crazy about these risers either. In fact, I hate these risers. <clears throat> I wonder if we can get the old ones re-chromed. That would be like ideal if we can do that if it's not expensive. Look, they're all loosey-goosey and stuff too. Probably redo that. I know to pull the tubes off, this part's gonna come off. So I might just leave all this stuff together right now take this off as a whole. That's what I do. Yeah. So this is, we'll do that when we get it down on the ground. I'm going to go ahead and slide a back wheel on here so that we can roll it off the lift. damn same wire, it's just zip tied together. I'm gonna go ahead and get this front wheel off and then try to slide out our fork tubes. Off. I'm going to go ahead and 
take these pinch bolts off and slide out my fork tubes. I think. Should be all that's holding in there. We'll see you in a minute. Take out this pinch bolt right here. start trying to get the motor out of it. Slide this back wheel back off. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pull off this pivot nut and my buddy Trey here is going to hold this side of the axle nut. Let's do this. I'm going to pick up the back of the bike. You slide the jack out from underneath. Well, we got it on the ground now. <clears throat> Motor should be separate from the frame now, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it on the side and try to fish it out. It's the only thing I know to do. Last time. We out. Woo, that was hard work. Once again, we finally <laughs> got the motor out of that frame all together. Um, in the next video, we're going to start putting together our new bike. And um, I don't know, we might take some stuff off the motor so it's not so much of a pain in the butt to get it in there because we don't want to scratch up our new frame. But uh, we'll figure that out. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, and share it. Thanks, y'all. See you guys in the next one.